Welcome back to Fat Lady Chats. How you all doing on this beautiful Friday? We are blessed. God woke us up this morning, so that's a, a heads up right there, and we are truly blessed. So I kind of want to talk about what's going on, um, you know, at the Capitol with the President Trump again. And I just want to express, it disappoints me how... Um, the Senate is not moving that fast to go ahead and convict President Trump. Um, it, it just shocks me that I live in this world of today or 2021, how things are different and for people of color. Okay. It just, it's a, it, it's very depressing in a way. Um, the first thing I feel like. You know, here it is. This is president. Um, you know, like I said, I I, I kind of felt like nothing was gonna be really be done um, to uh, him. You know, he did something that no other president has ever done, and I think that it is so unfair. In the whole world is watching, and we moving so slow about this. And it's a, it doesn't matter if he's not going to be in there. Um, I feel uh, even though he's not going to be in there, he only got a few days to go, he still need to be convicted of his crimes. It's not fair. If it would have been any other president, especially President Obama, they would have probably convicted him that day. And then here it is, we impeached President Clinton for getting his penis up. So, I mean, you know, how in the world, um, you know, we don't impeach this man for what he did at the Capitol building. This is a federal building. And it just blows my mind how some of these Republicans that hold these seats are just like oblivious to what is really going on. And they're just trying to get him a way to escape. Uh, to get away with this. And I just feel like, you know, we can't grow and, and move on for some of these old heads, these people who stuck in the past. Uh, we need to move forward so we all can unite together as one race, and that is the human race. So I, I just do not understand how they... Um, want to just say, oh, forget it. Um, you know, let's have peace. Why we have peace the four years that he was in there? We should have had peace then. I mean, somebody should have been saying that to him at that time. So it's it just not fair. Our first priority, how in the world do he think he can run again in 2024 if we voted this way to get him out, number one, and as a country we're trying to grow? And things are changing and growing. People do not want to stay separate all the time. You know, these younger people want to be able to love whoever they want to love and be with whoever they want to be. And they should be able to do that. This is 2021 and we still, he's still trying to make us live in the 60s or in the 50s. So we have to move forward. And that part, I just do not understand at all how some of these Republicans just feel like they can just slap this man on the hand and just be like, okay, um, yeah, he did this, but let's just forget it. No, y'all need to convict this man. I don't care if he's not going to be in the White House anymore. He need to be convicted of his crimes. If it was anyone else, they would be convicted of their crimes. And it's just not fair at all. I don't care who he is. I don't care what kind of money he has. He still need to be convicted of the crimes that he has done. Period. And he, we, it's not like we did not know that he was going to do this. We knew this. We knew what this man stood for from day one. And if, if I was a Republican, I would separate myself so fast from him and his team. As soon as possible, in order to save the Republican Party. Okay, so yes, I'm a little compassionate about that situation. But I hope you all have a great Friday, okay? Thank you for listening to Fat Lady Chats. Y'all have a safe weekend, and I'll talk to y'all later. Thank you. Bye-bye.